Hello, my name is Brett. I'm with Lone Star Cutting Solutions, and I do the in-house trainings here on the PowerMax Series plasma units. What we're going to talk about today is the consumable stack up on the PowerMax Series plasma units from Hypertherm. We're going to talk about what they look like when they're worn, what, the, what signs to look for, and when to change them and how to change them out. So your consumable life is going to be affected by your air quality, and your part is going to be affected by your consumable life. So your consumables are all contained within this retaining cap stack up right here on the bottom of the torch. It all comes apart together in a nice neat little package. You basically have five components in your consumable stack up. So you have your shield, your retaining cap, your nozzle, your electrode, and your swirl ring. The two most common consumables to go out are going to be your nozzle and your electrode. When you're inspecting your nozzle, you're going to look down at the end of the nozzle through this orifice. And this orifice should be clean, free of slag and debris. It should be round and it should be roughly the same size as when you first installed the nozzle. Once it starts getting larger, your kerf is going to get larger and therefore your air is not going to be directed nearly as tightly through your part. So it's not going to get all the way through your part as an end result. That's when you're going to get something that looks like this here. The next consumable we're going to talk about is going to be the electrode. Okay, the electrode has a metal inside the center of it there, it's called half beam. And that's the part that's going to wear, that's where the plasma is created. It's going to pit down into the electrode, and once that gets to about 60 thousandths of an inch deep in that pit, it's time to be changed. A normal recommendation is that when you change the nozzle, you change the electrode. This is your swirl ring for a PowerMax 125. Okay, you see it has an O-ring here. It has these orifices here and around the top. All of these orifices need to be clear and clean, okay, as well as these up here. This is what's going to swirl your gas in there to direct the plasma out of the nozzle. Okay, you want to look for any kind of cracks, abrasions, any clogging of any of the orifices on this, on this consumable item, and that's when you're going to know it's going to be time to change. These two here are your shield and retaining cap. Okay, these are both used. Okay, this is the shield, and this is your ohmic retaining cap. The only thing that makes this the ohmic retaining cap versus a normal retaining cap is this band and clip right here. Okay, on the shield, you have orifices all the way around here, and then you have your main orifice here where the plasma comes out. If you look down inside, you can see the other side of those orifices in the center. Those all need to stay clean and clear. And the same thing on your retaining cap, if you look down in this end, down here at the very bottom, you can see the orifices. If you look down here on this side, you can see them all around the inside here. Again, those need to stay clean and clear also. Okay, on the ohmic retaining cap, this will engage the shield. And sometimes they can get bent up and things like that. So you want to make sure that when you screw these two together, this clip has contact with the shield. When putting these back together, there is a picture in the book that we'll show in a little bit. It has the whole stack up laid out and it goes together in that same order okay so your shield screws to your retaining cap your nozzle goes in first and your electrode and swirl ring fit together and then go in last before you screw these back onto the torch head you want to check the o-ring down here Okay, make sure that it's not frayed, make sure that it is lubricated correctly. 
you screw it back on. You're going to get a few turns on it and you're going to feel it kind of tighten up. That's just to get to the O-ring. You're going to keep going and then it'll stop. Do not over tighten this. If you over tighten this, then all the heating and cooling from firing the torch is going to make it nearly impossible to get off. Okay, if you do have ohmic sensing, which all of our machines come standard with, then you'll need to slide your ohmic sensor wire back onto the cap. I just want to show you a few examples of some worn consumables. These are some that we've run here on our machine in-house, and it's time to change them out. So you can see on the nozzles, some of them are elongated, some of them are pitted down into the copper. Either one of those scenarios is going to affect your cut and your kerf width of your plasma. On your electrode, you can see it's pitted down. This one probably is pitted down past a sixteenth of an inch. So this one actually probably went a little bit farther in its life than it should have. On your shields, you can see I have a lot of wear right around the inside of the main orifice of the shield. On this shield, you can see here that all these orifices are clogged with slag. But both of these are most definitely due for a change.